Hi everyone, I'm back again. I know I'm still giving you a lot of information, but this information is going to be useful for tomorrow when you get your papers back from me. Those of you who turned them in at an earlier time, I'll get those done more quickly. Um, from the MicroTheme assignment. So MicroTheme 1 was turned in on turnitin.com. I'm actually going to go over to Blackboard now. Um, and look at how um, it looks on Blackboard. Brian, I'm using yours. I hope you don't mind. I haven't put a grade in yet, but you were the first one who posted it. So um, I hope you don't mind that your paper is here. Um, anyway, I just want to help you to navigate the information that comes back to you on Blackboard. Right now, we're in this blue folder that's called Grademark. And what Grademark does is it goes in and it gives you some insight about um, grammar and spelling issues so it takes it and it gives you some information there it's like any other program that does this um, and I always take into consideration when I look at it um, it might talk to you about tone as this one does I don't mind you using damn in your paper Brian it's okay with me um, if it's appropriate um, which it is in the case that you're using it here um, so it sometimes talks about things like that, but then there'll be some things that it will give you a mark on that was really going to help you. So you have to kind of poke through them and look at them, but they will help you to help to understand how you're doing with grammar and spelling. And then I also put in comments. If you look over here at commonly used when I'm grading your paper, if I see things that um, look weird or I put special um, responses in here, I will comment directly in it. This is the grade mark portion of, um, of Blackboard. Up here in the corner, you're going to see an originality report. It's the red tab. The originality report may not come into effect until later on in the semester. It depends on how much you use in-text citations in your paper. But I don't want you to figure uh, um, stress out um, when you see this originality report. There's only one problem with them. Um, if there's something wrong, what the problem will be is that you would have cited information in the body of your paper without, you would have put information that matches in the body of your paper without citing it. And that would be a problem, that's plagiarism, but I would talk with you about that. Sometimes it's just a mistake. There's a difference between um, really plagiarism where you cut and paste and put something into a document and really you just didn't cite things properly. And as we move on to this semester, we're going to learn way more about this. But the originality report is in this tab, and over here you'll see a percentage of similarity. This is okay if you have a high percentage there. It's not really what we're looking at. We're looking at are you citing the material that you're using. I'm going back to the grade mark um, for a second. Um, and there's a couple other things that um, we can look at. And I'm going to put the rubric on. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to push this um, this screen down a little bit. Down here at the bottom, there's a um, a box that you can click that says rubric. And this will pull up the rubric um, for the assignment where I'm going to give you a score um, for your paper. Um, there are four sections for this paper, or is there five? Let me see. Four. Um, summary, which is that you're summarizing the material, analysis, how you're analyzing it, what are they doing, how are they doing it, the MLA format for the paper, and spelling and grammar. So this is the rubric that will um, give you a percentage, and actually when I finish the rubric up here in the corner, it will put a point system for you here. One more thing I want to show you, we're not using it for this paper, but we will use it later on. Um, when we work with the essay assignment. So essay one, two, and three. Over here, back at these tabs, there's one that's called peer mark. It's typically green. Um, you can't see it because I did not do a peer review for this paper. Um, so you won't be able to look at it. On the ones that you do a peer review for, which will happen later on in this week for essay one, you will need to go into the peer mark and that's where you'll be able to see the peers comments for your paper. Okay, that's the only thing I want to talk about. Again, this is for you to be able to navigate turnitin.com tomorrow when you get papers back. Um, I'm going to grade them as quickly as I can, and um, you can imagine I have a lot to do, as much as you do or more. I hope you guys are enjoying the class. Have a great day. That's it for now.